the tenacity and excitement level that Malik Monk brings is felt the moment that he steps foot in the game. And from being regarded as one of the most electrifying hoopers in all of high school basketball to shining against one of the most prestigious NBA teams of all time, Malik Monk has really came a long way and has truly broke through all adversity that he's faced throughout his journey. But he has always stayed true to himself. This is the Malik Monk story. Malik Monk was born on February 4th, 1998 in Jonesboro, Arkansas, but it was the back streets in Lepinto, Arkansas, a small community of fewer than 2,000 people that his older brother Marcus spent countless hours demonstrating to his younger brother how to hold his own on the outdoor basketball courts that was known locally as the Woods. And since Malik was facing up against grown men that were sometimes three and four times his age, they would always try to downplay his on-court abilities. As to them, he just looked way too lightweight and inexperienced. But his big bro would always step in and would refuse to play unless an invite was given to his younger brother as well. Now Marcus went on to be a superb two-sport athlete as he was Mr. Basketball for the state of Arkansas and then went on to be the seventh round draft pick by the Chicago Bears along with playing overseas professional basketball. And since Malik was 12 years younger, he really became inspired by all his big bro success. As he even stated, Marcus definitely paved the road for me. He means everything to me. It's not just basketball. And once the opportunity came, he took full advantage of it. Monk attended East Poinsett County High School in Lepinto, Arkansas. And as a freshman, he put up 23 points, 5 rebounds, and 3 assists per game while leading his team to a 25-8 overall record and an appearance in the Class 2A State Championship game. But right after that season, Malik transferred to Bensonville High School in Bensonville, Arkansas. By his junior season, he was already six foot three and one of the most electric players in all of high school basketball. And on a gamely basis, his athleticism allowed him to really make a name for himself. For that year, Monk put up 27 points a game. And that summer, he competed in the Nike Elite Youth Basketball League, where he roughly averaged 20 points, but was also part of the greatest AAU All-Star team ever. As a senior he put up an even crazier average 29 points four assists and eight rebounds and at around that time monk became the number one shooting guard in the whole entire country which earned him to be a mcdonald's all-american and even competed in the jordan brand classic game there he would earn co-mvp honors alongside De'Aaron fox and after narrowing his list of schools down to five he made the ultimate decision to sign a letter of intent to play basketball at the university of Kentucky. Joining forces with fellow five-star recruit freshmen De'Aaron Fox, Hamadou Diallo, Winyan Gabriel, and Bam Adebayo. That season, Monk and Fox were arguably one of Coach Calipari's greatest backcourts ever. And a lot of times offensively, there really wasn't anything Monk could not do. On December 17, 2016, Monk set a University of Kentucky freshman scoring record with 47 points and a win over the University of North Carolina. In just 12 days later, he went off again, scoring an outstanding 27 points in an 85-69 win over Georgia. That season, he was able to maintain averages of 20 points, 2 assists, and 3 rebounds. Malik shot 45% from the field to go along with 40% from 3. His impact helped his team thrive in the NCAA March Madness Tournament. As together, they were able to make it as far as the Elite Eight. There, Malik and his squad suffered a very tough loss against North Carolina. And so after being named SEC Player and Freshman of the Year, while being named to First Team All-SEC and the SEC All-Freshman Team, Malik decided to enter his name in the 2017 NBA Draft. And this is where he would go, 11th overall to the Charlotte Hornets. And so after missing the whole entire summer league due to an ankle injury, he struggled during his rookie season and really couldn't grab a hold of any type of consistency. Monk was signed to the Hornets G League NBA affiliate for one game. There he put up 25 points, eight rebounds, and four assists. For the Greensboro Swarm, for his rookie season, he put up seven points, 
one rebound and one assist in a contest. He only shot 34% from three and 36% from the field. And things didn't seem to get that much better in his second year. It wasn't until his third season to when he really started to show consistency and he got into a bit of a rhythm. After just a few months, he put together arguably one of the best stretches in his young career. In 13 games, he increased his scoring averages to 18 points a game on 46% shooting all while coming off the bench but it wasn't long until things would start to go downhill for him in late February of 2020 during his third season just a day after the young star made his first career start the league informed that he had violated the anti-drug policy and that he would have to face an indefinite suspension heading into that next season after showing some promise in the preseason, head coach James Borrego spoke highly on Malik and expressed on how he would have a bigger role. But it wasn't the case as Monk sat the first couple of games in the season. On February 1st, 2021, Malik scored a career high at the time, 36 points and 9 threes, and broke a franchise record for points off the bench in a win. Heading into the offseason as he was a free agent, he decided to sign the veterans minimum with the Lakers, and it was seen as a big steal. He averaged 14 points, 3 assists, and 3 rebounds. Overall, he just looked a bit more and more poised. And on April 10, 2022, Monk put up a then career high 41 points in a 146 to 141 win over the Denver Nuggets. And after the Lakers missed the playoffs, during the offseason on July 6, 2022, Monk signed a two year, $19 million contract with the Sacramento Kings reuniting back with his Kentucky brother De'Aaron Fox and he simply just in a way revitalized his whole career while coming off the bench. On February 24, 2023, Monk put up a career high 45 points in an overtime win over the Clippers which was the second highest scoring game in NBA history. For the regular season, Monk averaged 14 points, 3 rebounds, and 4 assists with shooting splits of 45% shooting from the field and 36% shooting from three all while coming off the bench and the six-year guard has honestly just took that next step in his very first playoff series because through the first five games of the first round against the Warriors he really has been holding its own while averaging 18 points four rebounds and three assists Malik Monk has always been an incredible talent and his offensive skill set is so diverse there isn't practically anything that he doesn't thrive at but even when it seemed as though he couldn't really find his niche in the NBA, he just stayed ready. And when his name was called, he did not disappoint. Um, so I just go out there and, and, and do what I can, the best as I can. But of course I want to start. Um, but I, I, don't have, I don't mind coming off the bench either. Um, all I know is I'm going to go out there and, and be the best version uh, of myself I could be and, and, and do everything I can for Mike Brown, man, so we can win. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Malik Monk story.